Welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to continue to answer the set of questions from 6 to 10 in the Metrobank MTAP Math Challenge 2016 Elimination Round for Grade 10. And to start with number 6, which is greater, 2 square root of 5 or 3 square root of 3? In the MTAP competition, you are not allowed to use calculator. So how can we identify which of the following number is greater? So let us have... 2 square root of 5, and then on the other side, that is 3 square root of 3. So let us write 2 square root of 5 in the form of radicand. So let us write 2 inside the radicand. It became 4 times 5. That is 2 multiplied by itself, that is 4. If you get the square root of 4, it will give us 2. And then on the other side, that is 9 times 3. That is 3 multiplied by itself, that is 9. And then, 4 times 5, it will give us 20. That is square root of 20. And then the other side, that is square root of 27. So definitely, square root of 27 is greater than square root of 20. So therefore, our answer is 3 square root of 3. This will be our answer. For number 7, if the points negative 2, 11 lies on the line y equals mx plus 3, what is the value of m? So to find the value of m, let us identify the given that is negative 2 and 11. So this will be the value of x and the value of y. And we have a line that is y equals mx plus 3. And let us substitute the value of x and y. So the value of y is 11, and the value of x is negative 2, that is negative 2m plus 3. And let us move 3 on the side of 11. It will give us 11 minus 3 equals negative 2m. 11 minus 3, that is 8, and then negative 2m. Let us divide the whole equation by negative 2. So the value of m... That is 8 divided by negative 2, that is negative 4. And this will be our answer. For number 8, the exterior angle of an equiangular polygon is 40 degrees. How many sides does the polygon have? So the formula for the exterior angle of an equiangular polygon, that is 360 degrees over N. Since we have the given measure, that is 40 degrees. So this will be our equation, 360 degrees over n equals 40 degrees. So let us multiply n by 40. It will give us 40 degrees times n equals 360 degrees. And then divide this one by 40 degrees. It will give us n equals 360 degrees divided by 40 degrees, that is 9. So the number of sides is 9. And this will be our answer. On number 9, what is the equation of the line written in slope-intercept form that is parallel to 2x plus 3y equals 1 and passes through 1 and negative 2? So we are going to write our answer into slope-intercept form, and that is y equals mx plus b. And we have the given, that is 1 and negative 2. And we have the given equation, that is 2x plus 3y equals 1. Since the given equation is parallel, all you have to do is to write this one, that is 2x plus 3y equals k. And to find the value of the coefficient, let us have 2 times the value of x, that is 1, plus 3 times the value of y, that is negative 2, equals k. And then, 2 times 1, that is 2, and then 3 times negative 2, that is negative 6. So the value of k is negative 4, that is 2 minus 6. Therefore, our equation will be 
2x plus 3y equals negative 4. But we have to write our answer in slope-intercept form. So let us move 2x to the side of negative 4. That is 3y equals negative 2x minus 4. Let us divide this one by 3. So our answer will be negative 2x over 3 minus 4 over 3. This will be our answer. On number 10, the average of two radical expression is square root of 3 minus square root of 2. If one of them is square root of 3 plus square root of 2, what is the other radical expression? So let us write here square root of 3 minus square root of 2 equals x. So we are going to represent x as the other radical expression plus square root of 3 plus square root of 2 over 2. And then, let us multiply 2 on this one. That is 2 square root of 3 minus 2 square root of 2 equals x plus square root of 3 plus square root of 2. And then, let us move square root of 3 and square root of 2 on the other side. It will give us x equals 2 square root of 3 minus square root of 3 minus 2 square root of 2 minus square root of 2. And then to simplify, so x is 2 square root of 3 minus 1 square root of 3, that is square root of 3. And then negative 2 square root of 2 minus 1 square root of 2, that is negative 3 square root of and this will be our answer. So I hope you will learn from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.